So today's route, we're going to go up into the mountains of Icod. Um, there's a place up there that we know. It's a rural house that can be rented. Um, right in the, the right in the, the lap of the Tader. Um, it's an amazing place. You would never know where it was unless you were able to, you know, watch something like this or find, you know, one of the locals or something. I'm going to give you all the details about the house and the actual place where we're going to go. So we're starting off down in Fanya Bay. This is where we're actually going to start from. I've just gassed up at the Sepsa Station here and we're going to start heading up the new TF1 towards um, Puerto de la Cruz. And as we come down, we're going to come into the new road and I'll break all the route down um, in the description in the YouTube channel. So, where are we first of all? Well, look, here's a restaurant. If you're ever down this way, now Fanya Bay is not Fanya Bay, as a lot of people say, as we pronounce it in English, it's Fanya Bay. And this is the, um, what we call an Argentinian type um, barbecue. It's an indoor restaurant. They have lots of different meats. Um, I'm actually very tempted to go inside but I'm not gonna go in there today. We'll save that for another time. The actual weapon of choice is the road glide. We're gonna take the road glide out today with us. This is gonna take me up into the mountains. This is my personal bike, of course. I do a lot of work on, and uh, it's got great, it's got all the panniers and everything else on it. So that's what we're gonna do. That's where we're gonna go. We'll start the trip off now, and I'll speak to you again soon. So we've just come now into the town, well, the small village of Santiago del Taido. This is the first village that you're gonna hit once you've come through the tunnel coming off the main TF1. So that's a new section of motorway. It's only been open for probably the last five years. And what that is is now that they're finally getting round to making a complete connection route on the island, which will make things very fast, a lot easier, and also take a lot of the heavy traffic off some of the picturesque roads that we've been watching and riding. We're actually going to go to this restaurant. We're going to grab some dinner now because the next joint's quite long. We're going to take the road up to Al Tanki. So this is where we're going to eat. We're going to get some local Canarian food and then we'll get back on a bike. So I started with a bite of garlic pork. Quite, quite popular dish as a starter in many of the restaurants up and down um, all the small villages prawns were always fresh prawns are just like you know, they're, they're like sweets here they're in every restaurant you can get them up and down and um, this is served with two sauces you see there's the green sauce which is made with clitrano which is um coriander and the red mojo sauce which is made with the chili again served usually with the potatoes but they'll usually serve it on the table with everything and of course the prawn dish always served very well always fresh prawns well worth trying and if you're passing and you like prawns the best way to taste it Now for my second plate, well, this is a little bit special. This is carne con cabra, which is goat meat. Well, that might not be for everybody. You might turn your nose and soon as you hear the word goat, just because we're not accustomed to it really. But the truth of the matter is it's just lamb. It's pretty much exactly the same. Um, there's my bread, thank you. There's my bread to accompany it. This is slow stewed. It's almost like a, a curry type spicy taste to it. Um, served with a few chips. Um, really is a great meal. And this is one of the reasons that I come to this particular restaurant. Because on this route of into the mountain, there's nothing better than a bowl of camera to keep you going. Now to finish, I mean, I have got to say, you know, they know me quite well up here, so they do really look after you. I mean, they're lovely anyway. The first time you walk into this actual place, they will look after you from start to finish. But just look. I mean, this now is pudding. So I've got local biscotto, which is a local cake that they make here. A coffee to get me going again. And 
Ooh, I shouldn't really do that, but I'm going to because I need a digestive, of course, to wash all of this down. So I'm going to get stuck into all this. And if I can move, I mean, I'll tell you a funny story before we go. Freddie Dobbs got me into all of this. And um, I put on about four or five kilo since I started vlogging and doing the right routes and the rides and, and all of the rest of it that goes with it. But I went to the doctor and he said, has anything changed? I said, look, I'm putting weight on. I've put on five kilo in the last um, three, four months. Not really changed anything. The doctor was scratching his head. What I didn't tell him was I brought a Harley Davidson and I'd started vlogging around the island. So dinner done, the name of that restaurant is Al Patio. It's on the right hand side as you first come into Santiago del Taide. So you'll get a great meal there. But now we're gonna head back off into the mountain. Now there's about 20 minutes of twists and turns before we come to some more fast roads. Those fast roads then will take us right up into Icod where we're heading to. Um, if you are coming down here, one word of a warning, don't come down late on the evenings because this section of road that we go on to now can often have some low overhanging cloud, quite misty, quite foggy, quite dangerous if you don't know the road. So, grandma's house. Well, you probably wouldn't expect to find something like this in Tenerife because we think about beaches and blue sea. We don't actually ever think about fantastic, stunning churches like this in the middle of the forest. There's such a massive pine forest in Tenerife. It's almost undiscovered. It goes on for acres and acres of land. It's so fresh when you ride through it. You can smell nature as you're riding. You can smell the pines. It's just absolutely incredible. And in there, there is a house that for me is exactly how we was ta talked about with Little Red Riding Hood. Yep, we are going to Little Red Riding Hood's grandma's house. Let's hope there's no big bad wolf. <laughs> Now, so finally got here. It's been, what, five years since I've been up here. So <laughs> I didn't get here in one go. In fact, I had to ring for a bit of help and get the owners to come and get me. But you know, such is life. It's not the end of the world. So look, I'm in the middle of Icod. This is probably one of the luscious areas of Tenerife with the forest. I'm right in the middle of the forest. Now tell me, take a look at this and tell me that that's not grandma's house. All we need is little red riding hood. Let's take a look inside because you can stay here with groups. You can come over here with probably, you can, you can sleep um, one, two, three, sleep five, six, seven people here easily. The house itself is absolutely stunning. You know, it's a little cottage, it's got picturesque everything around here. They've actually done a few different things since I came the last time. It's been the pandemic and everything else since we were able to come up. We would normally come up, but they've put an outside patio. So you can see you've got plenty of room here for a party. You know, plenty of outside seating. This is all part of the house. You can come here, you can enjoy it with friends. You can actually 
Take a walk into the forest. The Tady is right over there just in the morning when that cloud has cleared. You'll be able to see such an amazing view. The house itself, this is 50 pounds, 50 euros a night for two people, okay? It's 25 a piece. You've got a lovely little kitchen area and we go down into the bedding area. There's three nice big beds there. There's a double bed here. Obviously you can squeeze some more bedding in. This is a pull out sofa settee as well. It's got a nice bathroom. They're very clean, very traditional Spanish Canarians. Lovely little kitchen area. Most of their lives they spend outside anyway. It's how they live. Look, I've got the road glide here. I've got the forest and I've got the cottage. What more do you want?